Hi friends, I wanted to hop on really quick today to chat about something that I feel like is extra relevant and pertinent to us going into the weekend. Now, I want you to use these tips and tricks that I'm about to go over during the week as well, but like I said, I feel like it's a little more relevant and common, so to speak, on the weekend. On the weekend, we like to go out to eat. It's just what we do. We celebrate um, around food and we, we, forced togetherness around food with our friends and family and it's just part of our life. I want to challenge you to not be fearful of that. Don't stress about going out to eat at a restaurant. You can still stay on track while enjoying balance and food with your friends and family all at the same time. Believe it or not, you can. Now this practice will get easier the further into your health and fitness journey that you go but I wanted to give you a couple tips and tricks and I challenge you to turn your discouragement into encouragement um, and to challenge yourself at this point in your journey. So first things first, I want you to stick to a lean protein. So chicken or fish or some sort of lean beef or even pork, um, any kind of protein source would be fine. But when you order it, I want you to ask them to cook it, grill it specifically, stay away from the fried protein, um, but ask them to cook it with no butter, fats, or oils. This will help eliminate a lot of extra unnecessary, unhealthy calories that you don't really need, um, but still providing yourself with a good source of protein as well. The next tip that I want to give you is to stay away from the appetizers, the free bread basket that they put on the table, or the unlimited chips and queso that come to the table. Stay away from the small bites menu and the appetizer menu and just drink a lot of water which is tip number three, drink a ton of water. It will help you feel like you're fuller longer so that while everybody else is snacking on chips and queso and unlimited bread, um, you are more satiated in that you're full because you've been drinking a lot of water and you won't feel hungry enough to grab that piece of bread or that chip. Is it gonna be challenging to watch everybody else eat it because your mouth loves the bread and chips? Absolutely, but your stomach won't be craving the bread and chips because it will be full. So um, order a lean protein, no butter, fats, or oils, stay away from the appetizers, drink a ton of water, and then stay away from starchy carbs at restaurants. I want you to just double up on your veggies. So traditionally, depending on what time, time of time, kind of restaurant you're going to will dictate what type of food you can get. But traditionally we get like a meat or a protein source and two sides, which typically includes like a side salad or a veggie and a carb. Stay away from the carbs and just double up on your veggies. Get a side salad, some steamed veggies, some roasted broccoli, um, whatever your options are, just try to stick to loading up on your veggies and your lean protein. Depending on what the veggie is, if it's a salad, of course you won't have to worry with this, but if it's like um, some sort of sauteed vegetable. You're going to want to ask for no butter, fats, or oils as well. Um, and also, if you're going to get a salad, I want you to stay away from dressing. Now, you can get a side order of some olive oil or balsamic vinegar or something like that and just dip your salad in it. But by eliminating the allowance of the restaurant pouring a really high calorie fatty dressing all over your salad um, will save you a ton of unnecessary calories as well. So definitely keep that in mind. Another little tip that you're probably gonna call me crazy for is drink your Shakeology before you go to dinner. Now I know you're probably thinking that's a lot of extra calories if you know versus me just eating my dinner at the restaurant. But here's the thing, if you drink your Shakeology right before you go, it's gonna curb a lot of your cravings and it's gonna make you feel full so you're not gonna eat as much. As much as you try to stay on track at a restaurant, it's not gonna be as healthy as the food that you would cook in your own home. So even though you order the lean protein with no butter, fats, and oils, you stay away from the appetizers, you drink a ton of water, you get your salad with dressing, olive oil dressing on the side, you load up on your veggies, stay away from the processed starchy carbs, it's still not gonna be as healthy as if you were cooking it in your own home. So if you don't have to eat all of that to get your caloric intake in for that day, then don't, but you can still socially eat at the table with your friends and family, but drink your Shakeology before you go. And you're not gonna have that super sweet tooth craving at the end of the meal to order that piece of chocolate cake or that piece of apple pie because you've had your sweet tooth craving filled and you won't eat as much um, 
of those foods during the main course that probably aren't prepared quite as clean as you would at home. So those are just a couple things I wanted you all to keep in mind. I'm going to recap them really quickly, but I also want to remind you again to challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to not get stressed or discouraged when your friends or, and or family or spouse or kids wants to go out to dinner. Stick to the basics. Remember what you've learned about clean eating through the portion fix meal plan and just go with it. Order a lean protein, no butter, fats, or oils. Double up on your veggies and stay away from the processed starchy carbs. Stay away from the appetizers. Drink a ton of water. Um, double up on your veggies. I don't know if I said that already, but avoid butter, fats, and oils again. And drink your Shakeology before you go. And I promise you it will get so much easier. So much easier. And as you progress throughout your health and fitness journey, maybe a splurge meal or two here and there is something that you are... Like you don't even have to think twice about like it's built into your plan. It's part of your goals. Like go for it. Do it. Do it. Like nobody's stopping you and you don't need to have regret. That's another huge part of this is like if you eat the pizza or you have the glass of wine or you have the chocolate cake after you just had a huge salad for dinner. So what? So what? As long as it's not a reoccurring habit in your life and you find balance and you figure out what works for you that allows you to hit your goals and feel your absolute best, that's all that matters. I don't care what anybody else says. I'm telling you that's all that matters. I hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous weekend and I cannot wait to hear how it goes. If you go out to eat this weekend, please take pictures of what you eat. If you're proud of how you did and share it in the group and let us encourage you and cheer you on and congratulate you for just kicking butt because that's what this is all about, right? Just um, kicking all of those old habits right out the window. So once again, I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. Please let me know if there's anything that I or this group can do to help motivate you and encourage you. If you're going out to eat and you're still a little fearful and you're starting to have some self-limiting doubts and beliefs creep in that you can stay on track while you're out, post in the group and I promise you somebody will respond and they will cheer you on because that's what we're here for. I hope you all have a great weekend and a rest of your Friday day and I will talk to you soon.